What's up, man? Welcome to Break the Bank TV. Hey, man. I'm welcome to be here, man. I'm thankful to be here, man. Yeah, man. So your fans been wondering where you been at? Where you been at, man? Man, I've been I've been gone somewhere, man. Long <laughs> time, man. Nigga been locked up, man. All right, okay. Two years, but shit, I'm out now. Okay, okay. I'm trying to break the bank right now. Exactly. That's why you want to break the bank TV. Hey, right, man. Minus, minus setback for major comeback, right? Major comeback. All right. So you had uh, a couple years ago you signed the Soldier Boy, correct? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stacks on deck, money game. S O D money game. So how did you originally meet Soldier Boy or come in contact with him? Not been knowing Soldier for a minute, but um, I was originally beefing with T Keith. Yeah, hit world star and shit. Um, we on there with the pistols and shit. And Soldier. He seen the shit. I guess he was beefing with Chief Keith at the time. I don't know what was going on, but I'm I'm on Wesley Chapel at the time, and I'm in the uh, the checkers the checkers drive through. And bro hit me hit me in the DM like, bro, I'm rocking with you. Hit my phone. So shit, I hit his phone. He was like, bro, I want you to come fuck with me, bro. I'm like, shit, man, I fuck with you, bro. I see you got something going on. I got something going on. And bro, shit, we just been rocking. We've been rocking ever since. Okay, okay, and so. You also not necessarily had a fallout, but maybe a difference of opinion, or, or you know when the Agolf incident happened. And we'll get into that later. Uh, I know you posted out, uh, I believe, a video or a tweet or something. You were saying that you still you still rock with Soldier, but right. because the company he carried, like Agolf at the time, right. you didn't really. I guess you didn't necessarily like you didn't trust Agolf. Right. And so like he was playing that clarify for us, because a lot of us people it, may, may be confused. Okay, let me break it down. I, I distanced myself from SOD because from the jump, when the whole of the situation went on, as everybody know what went on, I went and I told him, I said, look, bro, this is not the type of nigga we need in the circle. He doing flaw stuff to me, he'll definitely do it to you. So then nobody want to listen to what I was telling them. So I was like, let me just pull it back. You get what I'm saying? Because okay. it, not, it ain't just happened to me. It ain't happened to other folks before. You get what I'm saying? But it ain't happened to the CEO. So he wasn't too much worried about it. Like, Oh, that shit really happened to y'all. It ain't gonna happen to me. But I don't know their situation. What happened with them? They end up falling out. But it came out like they always say: what happens in the dark comes to the light. It came to the light. So they seen what I was saying was was 100. But I rock with Soldier, but I just don't rock with the niggas that he got in his circle. You feel okay. me? The only person I really rock with is Maybach. Shout okay. out to Maybach. But everybody else, bro, man, that is not official. Them niggas is dick rhyme. Them niggas got them. Yes, man. When y'all supposed to be telling him, look, bro, we all supposed to be brother. We all up under the same label. When you see something, you see he, he stirring off the wrong path, you supposed to look, hey, bro, I know everybody tell you, yeah, yeah, do that, do that. But look, put the lean down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You can focus better. Nah, bro, don't do that. Nah, we don't need them pistols in here right now. We ain't got no real beef right now. You need some real niggas around you that ain't just going to say yeah to everything. You feel me? And they didn't like that. They ain't like that Flo Malcolm. Don't give a fuck. I'ma tell a nigga how I feel. And nigga respect you for that. But that's the whole situation. I fought with Soldier. I just don't fuck with the niggas that's around him. Okay. But you and Soldier have a good relationship right now. Yeah, hell fucking yeah. That's my bro. Okay, okay. And so, of course you did make World Star from the Agolf incident. Right. You know, um, is that case closed and good now? Or? Yeah, that case closed. It's over with, but shit, man. It made my career and then it fucked my career up at the same time. As in it put me in a bigger, a bigger span with the music. Like I was, I was getting more, more views. I was getting more money. I was getting more fans. But then I was losing fans because people didn't really know what happened with that situation. Okay. People just go off of what they see. You gotta listen as well. Like the old saying that you win more friends with your ears than your mouth. You get what I'm saying? So at the same time, it broke it and it helped it at the same time. More people didn't want to book me because of that shit. Then some people were like, shit, we want to book him because he hot right now because of the world star shit. You okay. feel me? But that case over with. But, you know, my boy Corey is still up there for that shit. It ain't over with for him because he's still on probation right. and okay. shit. Okay, okay. You know. We're still pending and going on. Still, still going. pending for him, yo. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we won't even want to get into that. Yeah. And so, you know, um, it was funny because, you know, you know, world stuff a lot of things, especially when you be dissing a lot of rappers, man. Like I find a lot of hilarious angle lot, but you know, you know me personally, you know, I, I laugh at everything, you know. Right. So, what was the cause of the whole Chief Keith and Lil Re situation? Just in case some people maybe one who never had a clear understanding, because I don't think you really got a chance to really fully explain right that. Right. You know, right. 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 Well, if you can clarify on it, man. See, I'm a 100 nigga. 
it wasn't no it wasn't no real beef with that nigga. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't no real beef. It was just a young nigga got down on the come up, nigga trying to pop, nigga hot at the time. Who else I can go with that hot at the time? And I know goddamn on some same shit I'm on. Who on some savage shit like me? Chief Key was on some real shooter bang bang shit, the same shit that we on. Shit, we gonna goddamn, we gonna go at this nigga. This gonna make us pop. The same shit, the same way 50 Cent came in, you get know what I'm saying? But publicity is everything. You get know what I'm saying? It's good and bad. It sells. Controversy sells, you get know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no real beef for that nigga. We okay, just right. did some shit for the fucking fun there. We didn't even know it was gonna hit fucking World Star. Right. We didn't even know that shit. Okay. So shit, it wasn't no real beef. We just did that shit for the fuck of playing around and shit. Whatever happened after that, it, it, it was what it was. Okay, I got you. I got you. Right? Yeah. Positive positivity doesn't really sell. Where everybody loves negative stories all the time. Right. You right. Know? Cause you know Tommy Sotomayor, you know the uh, yeah, individual be uh, disrespecting all the black women. Yeah, he, he made a little video. He made a video I thought about it was me. hilarious, man. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> he man. made like two on about me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen you know. that shit. How did you take that? Did you laugh or? I like, it's you know. crazy because, I mean, I understood where he was coming from. I just don't. I listen to what people say, and he, he got plenty of sense. I actually, I actually spoke with him. Okay. And he wanted to sit down and chop it up with me, but, you know, I'm not finna put myself in a position. I know that you were just bashing me on the internet, but you want to hear my story. You're not finna get up there, and I get in your face, and you get to ask me a question trying to bash me, cause then I'm gonna have to go off. And I'm not one of these just regular niggas like. I'm finna get up and walk out this bitch. Nah, I'm finna go on your shit, nigga. You're not finna disrespect me. I'm a man first, but he said he wanted to goddamn sit down and talk, but it wasn't really nothing to talk about because the situation had nothing to do with him from the jump. You get what I'm saying?